the family of a newlywed Johannesburg couple who were killed by what is believed to be a fault, an electric fault connection, is appealing for space to mourn them. Uh, Zahir Sarang and uh, Nabila Khan died shortly after returning from their honeymoon on Sunday. Meanwhile, uh, City Power CEO Monges Nzogolo has ordered an investigation into the allegations that a fault caused by illegal electricity connections is to blame for the deaths. Here's uh, Newsroom Africa's senior reporter, Dumalum Mshaudi, with that report. An investigation has been launched to discover whether faulty electric connections are to blame for the deaths of a newlywed couple, Zahir Sarang and Nabila Khan in Crosby, Johannesburg. It's suspected that 24-year-old Khan was electrocuted after touching a tap on Sunday. Sarang was reportedly electrocuted when he tried to save her. On Monday, city power investigators and officials were out in the vicinity of the tragic incident. Well, just meters away, the families and friends of the late couple mourned their tragic loss. Zahir Sarang and Nabila Khan's relatives have asked not to be interviewed on camera while they observe a period of mourning in line with their Muslim beliefs. However, they have told this reporter that they are overcome with grief at their loss. The family is also discussing a way forward, including the possibility of pursuing legal action against city power and the city of Johannesburg. Meanwhile, the city of Johannesburg's power utility has released a statement on the tragedy. It reads in part, the CEO, Mr. Monge Sokolo, has requested the team to launch an urgent investigation into the allegations that the couple was killed by a faulty electricity connection attributed to the illegal connections in the area. City Power further promises to provide the details of its findings at a later stage. Community leaders say the problem of illicit power connections is a long-standing issue in that community. However, the, the issue of illegal connections and the people getting shocked on taps is, is widespread. I've got a fellow resident with me, um, Yola, and she's staying on the far north of the area, which is Fira Dorp. They're also experiencing the same issue, and some residents on the other side of Homestead Park and as far as Fordsburg are also experiencing um, shocking when they touch the tap. So it is a widespread problem, but we obviously need to investigate as to what is the actual cause of this, uh, this issue, this concern. Um, local elections is coming up, and I think our World of Data has got a lot of issues in our area. Like as you said, I mean, there's a lot, like sewage, we've got sewage issues, we've got illegal connections, we've got vagrants on our streets, um, there's much more. So, I mean, uh, City of Johannesburg should come out and assist us. Johannesburg police have confirmed that an inquest docket has been opened. For Newsroom Africa, Channel 405, I'm Dumala Mushaudi in Johannesburg.